Hey, what's up, fellas? Um, so due to the recent news uh, with the uh, spinetic spinners about us finding out about the bearings, um, I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys um, how uh, to remove the rust from the bearing if you have any that developed. Um, I actually did this to mine yesterday, uh, but I'm going to do it again anyways just to show you guys the uh, process on how to remove rust from your bearing. So first, you're going to remove the buttons. After the buttons, you're going to remove the... Uh, the bearing lock, put it over to the side, take your bearing out. Now what I like to do is I like to use a little screwdriver just because it fits inside the bearing really well and if I bring it over here to the camera you can see that I have pretty good spin times but if you have rust on yours, yours isn't going to spin very long. It's going to stop right away as soon as you do any spinning. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get some hot water going. You're going to grab some toothpaste. I'm just using regular old Colgate. You need to make sure that it is toothpaste. I'm going to grab a little dab of that. And you're going to put that right into the races of the bearing. Try to take the bearing off. Flip it over to the other side. Put some on in on the other side. Now this is going on pretty thick right now. Okay, what you're going to want to do is just spin that a little bit in your hand. Just keep the bearing going around and around. If you don't have a screwdriver like this, you can hold it between your fingers, but I find that doing this would be a lot easier. And you're going to see that inside the races, the paste is in there and it's spreading around. You can get a little bit of water, put it inside, and you're going to feel the grit. You're going to feel the grit of that toothpaste. Now you're going to be flinging toothpaste everywhere, so make sure if you have a wife, clean this up. You don't want to get toothpaste everywhere in your bathroom. But just keep flipping it around, rotating it, spinning it different ways. You don't have to get any speed on it, you just want to make sure that the uh, bearing is rotating, that the balls are spinning inside, and that that toothpaste is getting in all the nook and crannies. What the toothpaste is actually doing is uh, the grit. There's actually grit inside of the toothpaste. That's um, uh, polishing away all of that rust. All of the uh, surfaces that the uh, bearing balls are making contact with the races, uh, this is removing that rust. So I'm starting to get a little bit of heat. Put a little bit more water in there. And if you ever see anybody paint a car or get a car ready for prep, you'll see that they'll do this with the primer. They'll uh, put down the primer They'll get some sandpaper and they'll sand it down. They'll wet sand it to get the surface nice and smooth. That's what we're pretty much doing with this toothpaste. We're wet sanding the races. And you'll notice too that when you do this and you have a kind of a crappy bearing, uh, not like these ones, but you know a really crappy bearing from those uh, $10 spinners. If you were to do this, these those ones, you would get a really good spin time out of them too. So now I'm starting to notice that it's starting to run a little smoother, a little better. I don't feel as much grit anymore in there. This water starting to get hot. I'm gonna run that under the water while spinning at the same time. If it gets too hot for you, just turn on some of the cold. Just make it hot enough that you know you can keep your hands in there, but you do want it to be hot. You want it to dissolve all of that toothpaste, all of those uh, little crystals that are in there. Flip it around to the other side and just give it a quick spin. So you're going to notice now that the bearing is spinning pretty good, but it's wet. Wet's bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to just shake it off as best you can, give it a quick blow through. I would probably use some canned air or something else, not your mouth. I have here acetone. It's not the best. This one has a little bit of oils in it to protect your hands. My wife uses it for her nails, but it works just as good for this. When you get your bearing, you're just going to drop right in there. What that's going to do is that's going to help remove some of that water. And it's going to replace all the surfaces with water with acetone. So you're going to just spin that up there. possible take it out flip it over and 
you don't have to let it soak very long you just want the uh, acetone to get into the whole thing after you get that done I'm gonna pour down that drain rinse that out put that cap to the side now you're gonna notice that your sparing is gonna spin great but there's acetone in there we need to evaporate that to help I'm gonna use a hair dryer on the low setting it's gonna get a little loud Get that. Whoops. I'm gonna flip that over. Keep spinning it while you're drying. And that should be it so the last thing that you are going to want to do is you're going to want to get a flashlight and you're going to want to look inside of the races you're going to want to check for rust you're going to see some small tinges of rust in there those are the parts that weren't being able to uh, they weren't able to be rubbed by the balls using the toothpaste so you'll never be able to get all of the rust out of there but you were at least able to get all the rust out of there from the uh, from the races where the ball is making contact so if you reassemble your spinner which I'll do now I try not to touch it afterwards because I don't want the oils from my hands to get on it you should have a pretty damn good spinning spinetic spinner There you go. Happy spinning.